We're into week two of the Tattersall's October yearling sales and a buoyant opening session kicked off book two. The day's top lot came early when the only Dabawi yearling for sale in book two went to Godolphin for 725,000 guineas. The filly is the second foal out of Park Bloom, a winning Galileo sister to Oaks heroine was. From Lodge Park Stud's top family, she had been due to sell as lot 12 in book one, but was withdrawn after a freak accident at home. There was a storm in Ireland the day she was due to travel to book one, and just as she was leaving the yard on the horse box, she just caught her head collar on something, and she ended up with a laceration on her jaw. We said, OK, that's book one finished, that's October sales over for, for you, but she, was, she went down to Feathers overnight just from, to be monitored, and they were very happy with her. Um, sent her home and then she went out to the paddock at home and I looked at her and said bar this cut on your jaw you're pretty good shape everything is fine you know and uh, so we put the wheels in motion with Tattersalls and the transporters to to put her in today um, and look at it, it all came together she arrived here on Wednesday morning and she was showing it Wednesday lunchtime Anthony Oppenheimer's Haskam and Valiant stud finished as top consigner at book one and they certainly started book two where they left off with all four of their colts making six figures. Their consignment was topped by this two done hot colt out of precious remotes way who was bought by Anthony Stroud for 350,000 guineas. It was a very very nice horse I have to say I mean I know it's mine but actually um, we were doubtful when he went to stud because he was out of his dam, was a staying dam. We weren't sure whether they are going to be fast enough to really do well. But suddenly, the two done hot's taken off. And uh, we, we're thrilled because we think, I, I've been told, I don't know if it's true, that we had the best one looking, best looking one. Another lot making 300,000 guineas or more was this daughter of showcasing, who is now US bound with Ben McElroy, agent for Stone Street Stables, securing her for 325,000 guineas. I saw her a couple of days ago and right from uh, the time I seen her, I just thought she was going to fit what uh, we've done in the past with Stone Street, um, getting them out early as two-year-olds and hopefully trying to make Royal Ascot and I thought this filly um, ticked all the boxes for what we want to do. Well, I wouldn't have liked to left without her. The daughter of So Brave became a Carmel Stud's most expensive filly ever sold at Tattersall's, so understandably an anxious moment for stud owner Peter Morgan. Peter, you've just about stopped shaking, is that right? Yeah, just about. What a thrill. Yes, it's absolutely amazing. This game is fantastic when it goes right. Um, lots of tough days as well, but today was a really good day. You know, we're fortunate to have found some really nice people that, that love the filly. And uh, she's gone to a great home and hopefully we'll see her at Ascot next year. And late into the evening, Cord of Stud consigned a Pinatubo half-sister to Platinum Star. Looking a picture, she caught the eye of US agent Justin Casse. I, I like that the mare's already had some black type produced. Um, I also am I'm a fan of the freshman sire. We were looking for something early that, uh, w you know, everybody has Ascot dreams, right? So uh, he, the ped you know, his pedigree the, or her pedigree suggests that the stallion should produce uh, early runners as well as there's some in the female family, there's some, there's some precocity. So that was big for us, you know. She has the build to be early and uh, she comes from a good uh, nursery, so all of that equated. We'll hope for, uh, you know, top hats and tails maybe uh, come June.